Everybody asked me why I chose life insurance over real estate, and I didn't. I fell into life insurance. Uh, I was in real estate. My neighbor was making $30,000 a month. I meet the, one of the uh, brokers at the office. He's making a million. The owner's making $3 million. In my mind, nobody around me is making that kind of money, so I'm going to go do real estate. Why? Because I can go work two, three, four, five years, buy some property, cash flow, travel the world, uh, invest in other businesses. That was kind of my dream. Uh, I didn't choose a career because uh, I wanted to do something specifically for a living. I respect people that do that, whether it's a doctor or a lawyer or uh, uh, whatever profession you're passionate about. I was choosing an industry because I wanted a certain lifestyle. There wasn't one thing that I wanted to do for 40 years. I wanted to see the world. I wanted to make money while I traveled. I wanted to make enough money to take care of my mom, my dad, take care of my life. I wanted to have investments. I wanted to be wealthy. By the time I was 30, I wanted to be financially independent. So I saw real estate as that uh, uh, outlet, right? And so then my buddy's like, hey, come look at insurance. I say, no, I'm already busy. I'm doing real estate. Come look at insurance. No, I'm busy. 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 Eight different times I said, I'm busy. Finally, I go to the meeting. Meet Patrick, but David, get recruited into the life insurance industry. Four years later, start PHP agency with him. And uh, it changed my life. And, but there, there, in that moment, when I first looked at life insurance, here's what happened. I said, hey, Pat, I'm, I'm doing real estate. You know, I, I think this could be something I add to it. He was like, yeah, Palio, you know, sounds great, man. Do it. Let's get you licensed. So I go back to my real estate broker, and he says, you're going to be a jack of all trades. Okay, this is a top agent, uh, million dollar agent. He says, you're going to be a, a, a jack of all trades and a master of none. I don't recommend you to do it. So I said, man, maybe I shouldn't do it. So then I go back to Pat and I said, hey, uh, this is what he said. He's a millionaire. What do you think? And he says, do you want his life? I said, absolutely. I want to make a million dollars a year. He says, that's not what I asked you. Do you want his quality of life, what his life looks like, his schedule every single week? And I said, no, this guy works 80 hours a week. And I had asked him earlier, what, what does it take to make a million dollars? Well, you're all in all the time, right? That's just what it takes. Uh, Saturdays, Sundays, open houses, evenings, you're showing people houses after work. You gotta be that agent that's available when they get off. You gotta be the agent available on the weekends. And I'm like, when do you do stuff with your family? Whenever your schedule allows, you do it with family. But if you wanna make a million dollars, you gotta, you know? And I'm like, man, I don't want this guy's life. So then I asked him a question. I said, hey, you know, why don't you travel more? Why don't you, like, you're a millionaire. Like, why don't you go to Europe or Italy or anywhere, uh, Dubai, or do you travel? He says, I don't, I don't travel as much uh, because if I'm gone, I'm going to lose a deal. My client's going to call me. They're going to want to see me. Something's going to go wrong. I got to be available. So, you know, I don't travel as much. And I said, man, I don't want this person's life. So to answer your question, Pat, no, I don't want, I don't want that life. Uh, I do want to make that income, but I don't want that life. He says, second question, when he's done with his career, can he sell you his book of business? I said, what's a book of business? He says, the list of all his clients. I said, sure. He says, would you literally pay somebody for a list of people they sold homes to two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 years ago that doesn't make you any income today? I said, no, I wouldn't pay for that. He says, in insurance, right, there's a book of business. I'll go there in a second. He says, let me ask you, after every single month, he has the great, greatest month of his career, makes great income. What happens next month? He's back to zero. So there's not a consistency on the income side because there's not a residual. I said, okay, so I'll go to that in a second as well. I said, no, there's no residual. You make money one time. He says, lastly, at the end of his career, can he sell his business? And I said, yeah, you know, he could sell his business. He says, the challenge in that industry, George, he's a broker, right? I said, yes. He says, where, where was he a broker before? What, where, what was he doing before? I said, he was an agent at a different firm. How long was he there? 20 years. So the way that he said thank you to his mentor in that other firm was to leave, start his own company, become his competition. He says every broker that is a real estate broker at one point was probably somebody's agent, top producer that left to start their own brokerage. Because in real estate, the, the commission, the compensation, which today is even being challenged through lawsuits and all that stuff going on and being questioned, um, is 100%. He says it's not more than 100% because the buyer uh, or the seller is paying that commission. He says in insurance, the insurance agency, the insurance company is paying that commission and they can pay over 100% because they understand the volume of what you're going to do and because there's a recurring premium that lasts more than year one, right? Typically people keep policies for multiple years, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, right? They can afford to pay you that as a broker who has other brokers. I said, man, that makes a lot of sense. So to recap, right, why, why, why insurance? Book a business, right? In our business, you help clients. Some of those policies pay residual. That produces a value where somebody in the future could buy your book of business. Value of an agency. You build a business. You have an agency. You have all the, the, your, your book of business. You have your agency's book of business. All of that uh, together is an agency. You could sell your business down the road. 
residual, right? Every single month, uh, you want to build, you want to keep adding new sales and new clients and more agents to that, but you have a base that's growing constantly and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So you're not starting every month at zero. And then lastly, keeping the best people and helping them build their own agencies inside of that company. So for those of you guys that uh, have been in the real estate industry for a while, you know what's going on. Uh, rates are high, sales are down. Uh, it's a process, you know, they'll come back down, sales will go up, it's cyclical. Uh, I didn't want a business that was affected by the economy. Every seven to 10 years, we have a market crash and every time that happens, there's a hit in different industries. I didn't want to be affected by that. Uh, I take care of my parents, my wife, our boys, our, our expenses today, staff, six different people on payroll, uh, all the other things that we do for the team. And I need to insulate my economy, my family, um, financially. So I can't have a bad month. I don't want to go from, I have a great buddy, a uh, hundred grand a month to 25, 30,000 a month because of rates and he's in the mortgage industry. Uh, I, I don't want to go through that. And he's a freaking stud. Uh, I don't want to go through that with my family. I can't financially afford to go through that and then dip into my savings. So it's super stressful. That affects marriage. That affects time. That affects time with kids. Uh, I want to, I don't mind busting it in the front end, but at one point I want to have freedom and there's too many people that are in the sales industry that I don't see that have that freedom um, of lifestyle that didn't build a business to give them the lifestyle. Uh, instead, they own a business, but they are the business and the business owns them. And so that's why I chose the life insurance industry over real estate. And right off the bat, I didn't stop doing real estate. I kept doing a loan here. I kept doing a sale here, partnering, referring, making some income, right? So I was able to do the real estate with the insurance and the retirement accounts. And then eventually said, hey, I really like this more. There may be some people that are in real estate that say, you know what, I love real estate and I don't mind that part. You know what, but I love helping families buy homes. That's great. Uh, or you're in the loan industry. That's great. Why not supplement uh, this service to your business and also earn some supplemental income? Why not? For those of you guys that are considering and you're saying, hey, should I get into real estate? Should I get into insurance? Should I get into tech? Uh, you should go explore all the different industries and sit down with somebody that's in them uh, who's been doing that for 20 years and say, what's your lifestyle look like? What's your income look like? What's the consistency look like? What are the ups and downs of your business? If you could do it all over again, would you? Uh, what are the mistakes that you made? Why do you like this industry? And gather as much data because this is my story. Maybe your story is going to be different, but I'm grateful that somebody pushed the envelope with me and helped me look into life insurance because there's not that many industries that's going to take a Red Lobster server college dropout and pay them a, a seven figure passive income at 37 years old. So for you guys that are out there, hopefully we can connect. I'm not talking down to real estate at all. I respect what you guys do. It's a hustle. It's hard work. It's a grind. Respect to you guys. But if you want to partner, man, this is the best time for refi. And I don't mean refinancing homes and loans. I mean real estate and finance refi. You bring those together, you can help a lot more people generate extra income and build a better life. Take care, everybody.